Hello friends, family, and the rest. It is I, Fallen Fury, and welcome back to my Let's Play Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we, um, we got some, uh, hard pieces and masks. We got the bunny hood, which is my favorite bunny, or, uh, my favorite mask in the game. Um, it'll be in my inventory about 90% of the times, so just letting you guys know that. Um, the other thing it does is it makes you run faster, so that's just really helpful. And pretty much we're ready to go to the first area of the game after, what, six parts? Parts, this is part seven, I believe. So yeah, we're actually ready to actually continue or start the game. So uh, yeah, sorry about uh, all these side questing. I just wanted to get a little, uh, a little stuff done, you know. Um, there are some things I missed that I'll come back and get after I get the first uh, dungeon completed. Stop right there, you're ever in the swamp. Blah 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 blah. We've already seen you. Don't care. Thank you. Anyways, um, there's a couple things I want to talk about, but um, I'll talk about them after. There's a cutscene coming up, and I don't want to. I don't want to. Uh, you guys to miss anything in it. Um, I'll probably actually mute myself or mute it in recording. So, yeah. Oh, I remember this. Taylor and I drew this with the Skull Kid when we first met him. He told us that he had been fighting with his friends and then they left him all alone. It was sure that he was no. I, I'm sure it was just because he was pl always playing tricks, so nobody wanted to play with him. But to do what he did, just because of that. And once he got his power. Anyways, <clears throat> that's pretty much the, like the only little cutscene that you get mid gameplay, which is kind of cool, I guess. I mean, I mean, they really couldn't afford to, you know, add any more. But here we have the first actual area of the game. Um, let's see. I probably should have gotten some money, shouldn't I? Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Screw you, bats. Yeah. Oh well. I'll get the maps later because you can get a map of a uh, woodfall, and it's pretty helpful, but. It isn't really necessary or required, so I guess it isn't that big of a deal. And we have Southern Swamp. Woo. Okay. Okay, uh, this is uh, the first area of the game. Um, you mainly can, every area of the game mainly has a specific uh, mask. And this one is a DQ mask, coincidentally enough. I mean, it makes sense. It's all like swampy. DQs love like forest ish areas or swamps, so. I guess that makes all kinds of sense. Um, but there's one thing I want to, um, person I want to talk about. Uh, we were, um, me, I was talking to my friend uh, Mickey D on Skype actually, and he gave me a question: What's two plus two times two? Because if I don't get it in five seconds, I have to give him a shout out. And the answer is six, and I answered eight because everyone's supposed to answer eight, I guess. I don't know. That's what I answered at least. I'll probably show that conversation right now. But um, yeah, he. He won, so uh, I have to give him a shout out. So that's how it goes. Oh crap! Hold on. 
but yeah, um, he actually, he has a, he's a pretty good Let's Player, uh, he just finished, uh, Conqueror's Bad Fur Day, uh, either, by the time this goes up, it'll probably be yesterday, but I'm pretty sure it was today, um, he uploaded it, um, let's see what's today, today is January 25th, um, it might be going up on the 26th, or the 25th, depends on if I'm lazy or not, but, um, yeah, uh, let's see, First thing you want to do is go into this area, take off your D-Cube mask, put on your bunny hood. You don't have to put on your bunny hood, but it just helps out. Talk to them, okay. Hmm, follow me. But, um, yeah, you should all go check him out. Uh, he's a pretty good Let's Player. Uh, he, he, he makes full screen emulator, uh, Let's Plays, which is pretty awesome. Um, so yeah, I'll put his link in the description of this video. Or, yeah, or uh, as an annotation, probably both. Something cool like that. But, um, the whole point of this is to follow the monkey. It's kind of like, um, um, this is like similar to the Lost Woods, but there really is no definite path where you have to go, so you have to follow this monkey. I mean, there's, like, it's not random, but it's definitely helps to follow, like, to know where you're going. Ah, uh, help me. No, you're a boss in the other game. More cameos, lol. <laughs> I was busy minding my own business, just picking mushrooms, and BAM! I get hit from behind. The pesky skull kid didn't think he, he an old hag wouldn't recognize him by the if he hit his face. Ow, ow. He didn't think he's that powerful. Now I can't even move. You, don't you have anything that gives me energy? No. Want a bunny hood? Aw. Ah, uh, what is this? You're no help. I see, you're not all you're not all when you want to make yourself out to be. Oops, don't want to play Ocarina. I'm gonna get red stuff. Cause that was the word. That was the word bleh. Red, bleh. God, I can't talk. The color of the world was red. There we go. <laughs> Sorry. So that means you need to get something red. God, it's like a first grade like puzzle. The red word goes here, so you get the red object. Good job, Timmy. I R S M R. Okay. Uh. Hello, other boss. Hehehe. <laughs> Welcome. My potions work very well. They do. And insert. Fake screamer. <laughs> no, no, I'm not gonna do that to you. What's that? The skull kid got Komei? That's ridiculous. If it's just a skull kid, then we, what harm could he possibly do? Oh, well, if that's true, then take his potion to her. This isn't good. Yay, we get the red object that Timmy wants. And we get our first bottle, too. Um, never don't drink this potion because she gave it to you for free. And if you do drink it, you have to pay 20 or 30 rupees for it, which is never good. Um, let's see. I think you have to follow this guy again. Make sure you keep it out, but don't drink it. Like, um, I made that mistake once when I was playing this game. Uh, I was trying to go fast, and, um, um, I just, like, kept it in my inventory and pressed the, uh, whatever C stick, C button it was, and I drank it instead. Instead of giving it to her, because it wasn't in the option to give it to her yet. Like, you have to talk to her, then give it to her. So, I kind of epic failed. It was, like, my fail speedrun attempt. So, I guess you get that oh, Guess you get that once in every game, I suppose. Which kind of sucks, but what ifs? Come on, monkey. Leave me to the witch. I said witch. Censorship, censorship for the win. Thunder. Talk. Ah, uh, then. Here you go. Ah, oh, the color, that smell. It's definitely Kotake's. She's like, what? <laughs> I'm drinking it. And it's all gone. <laughs> There's no animation of drinking, it's just like, one time it's there, one time it's gone. Oh, feel the energy flow. Kome has revived! Third person talking. Oh no, you spawned a broomstick. You saved me. I'm the swamp tour guide. I run the boat cruise. If you come by, if you want a free ride. Alrighty. That was weird. Oh, god. Monkeys, get away from me. You have strange powers, no? Me be watching you. Me have bad grandma. Lately, the swamp filled with poison water. Temple above waterfall, strange. Brother, go to temple. But brother, not able to find temple entrance. Temple for Deku only. Brother captured by Deku, now in palace. Help. That's very descriptive, thanks. Thanks, guys. I really like your help. Anyways, they kind of give us a basic objective of what to do. Well, I like following these guys with the bunny hood, because you can't follow them with the regular thing. Watch. Oh, gone. <laughs> it's like, aww. <laughs> the monkeys went away. Remember Kotaka's, uh, or Kome's thing of giving me a free, uh, boat ride? But we're gonna take out that offer up, because that's where we need to go next. And there's a big octopus in the way, so, uh, 
that thing <laughs> right there. You see the corner? Yeah, yeah, it's in our way. We need to get it out of the way. Do -do 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 -do. We'll talk to the other, the main guy later. Sup? Oh, thanks for what you did back there. And a special deal for you. I'll just, I'll let you take his crew for free. Ah, yes, we got a special going right now. We're giving this out for free. Ooh, we got a pictograph box. Yes. You threw it a snap of the picture. You can shoot only one foot pictograph at a time, but you can replace it. You take it as many times as you like. Awesome. If you take a nice pace picture from a boat, take it take, take to that fellow over there. Alright, this boat's leaving. I can't talk today. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know. Welcome to the boat cruise. Please set your pictograph box to sea, and you see to look through it. Now, here. Please enjoy the swamp scenery and to your heart's content. Alright, let's put this, uh, here. Uh, but not going to slot. Um, I'm not gonna take a picture now, but I'll show you what it looks like. You can just press A to snap, takes a picture. You can choose to keep it or not. There's multiple heart pieces associated with this pictograph box, so, uh, it's pretty important to get 100%. But it's not really required, but, I mean, you get it anyways, because to get into the swamp, you need to use a boat, and to get to use a boat, you need to get the pictograph box, so you get it regardless, but, uh, it isn't required to beat the game. Hi, Froggy. I saw you in the intro thingy. And there's the big Octorok. I can't wait to bomb some Octoroks. <laughs> there we go. Problem solved. The spikiness of the boat killed it. <laughs> Anyways, uh... Yep, there's the DQ Palace. It takes us here. Unfortunately enough, it stops. And there's the monkey. Now arriving at DQ Palace. Alright. Swamp water is poisonous here, so please watch your step. Are you just embarking? Yes, I am. Right, unfortunately, you need to put on your DQ mask here. Hello. These are the stupidest guards ever. They're like Metal Gear guards, but worse. Honestly. I mean, I'm not even joking. At least Metal Gear guards, they take some caution away you're there. Okay, um... Let's talk to them. This is the palace of the Deku Kingdom. Only those official business may enter. But you may enter to see the public humiliation of that foolish monkey who angered our king. Follow this hall straight to the royal chamber. Do not enter any other areas whatsoever. Okay. Deku King's chamber. Alright, um, let's see. Where's the monkey at? Hello, monkey. To keep saying that I kidnapped her, no matter how many times I say it, I'm not, it's not going to bring the princess back. If you're not careful, the princess may fall victim to a monster. Please believe my words. I do, monkey. I do. I'm, your brother's told me right. Whoa, you look mad. Holy crap. I haven't seen your face before. Are you visiting? Usually I don't allow the likes of you in my chamber, royal chamber, but today is different. We're about to punish the foolish monkey who kidnapped the DQ princess. He has insulted the royal family. I'll show him what happens when you do that. That foolish monkey is up in the cage. Take a look, a look at his face. I already did. Actually, right now you want to take a picture of him. There you go. Keep the picture. I will show you will. And I will see you guys in the next part of Majora's Mask, where I go show this picture to the right person. Alright? This is Fallen Fury signing off from Majora's Mask. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, everyone.